Okay. In our previous session, we learned about you know how to you know use drop down box and how when we select something in the drop down box, how to capture the information whichever item you know I selected under drop down and by displaying the particular you know label in this text box. Now we will add a little more more functionality you know, using scripting. So now what we are going to do is now I have a chart in my um, you know story. So in this chart I added amount as a measure and a dimension as lo you know location into my chart. So this is the chart looking like. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to change my values in the drop down. So instead of you know giving key figures, now this time I am going to add you know some um, dimensions here. Okay. So here I am giving location one dimension and then adding plant as a second dimension okay second uh, um, you know value in the drop down so i have two values uh, location and plant so based upon the drop down selection which i did here my chart needs to be updated according to that you know um, dimension for example if i select location i want to see this uh, this chart look uh, you know amount with respect to location and if i select you know plant in this drop down box i want to see the uh, amo amounts with respect to plant so this is my requirement now how I can do again by doing interaction with this uh, you know particular drop down box I need to perform this action so uh, the same thing uh, you know we need to write this code also in the drop down box uh, scripting so I am going to drop down box under scripting so here I need to write my uh, functionality so how I am going to write the functionality first we need to think in the steps what are the steps that I need to perform first so check uh, what is my first step my first step is uh, uh, what is selected in drop down box is my first question okay and then after reading the information selected from the drop down box what i need to do before adding something to the chart you know uh, first what we need to do we need to remove the location dimension in my chart and add plan dimension Sim okay so that is the sequence of steps that i need to perform in before adding plant into the, my chart first i need to remove my existing location and then add a new dimension plant to my chart so same kind of you know steps uh, remove location and then add plant so these are the sequence of steps that i am going to perform right so for the same thing now we are going to write the code so i am writing one if condition why i'm writing if condition because when i select location i want to perform one kind of operation when i select you know a plant i want to perform different kind of operation means changing the uh, dimensions in chart so that's why first what i need to do i am writing if condition in the if condition i am checking what is my selected text if my selected text equal to for equal to operator i am giving three equal to here and then within the double quotes i need to write selected uh, sorry equal to location it means if in the drop down so whatever i am selecting the selected value will be available in my variable selected text right now i am checking the selected text value if the selected text is equal to location then so within the curly brackets i need to write the logic so if condition means if followed with else means if it is true then the first block will execute if it is false then the second block else block will be executed if the selected text is location then what i need to do first of all i need to uh, remove the existing you know plant because this drop down currently contains two only right two uh, values only either plant or location okay so if it is location means i need to remove plant and then put location there so uh, here by using chart because on the chart i want to perform operation so chart one dot remove so what i want to remove dimension or measure so remove dimension remove dimension within the brackets i need to write you see uh, with here it is telling the syntax remove dimension must, must contain the dimension information comma feed whether it is on the axis or on the rows okay so here what is the dimension so if i give control space it will tell which dimension you want to remove i want to remove location dimension comma so now it is asking feed feed on category axis or you know value axis so i want to remove uh, field on category axis okay so now select this one so 
category on the category axis i want to do this but where you see when i select location i want to remove plant from the category axis not the location because when i select location means i want to see location hit category right so plant let me remove one more time if you press control space it will, will get plant here comma and then uh, feed right feed dot category axis close and end with semicolon each line with end with semicolon here so then removing after removing i want to add the new member which is nothing but location chart one dot add so add dimension so which dimension i want to add i want to add location dimension to where p dot category axis that's it okay when i select location i want to remove plant and add location similarly when i select plant i want to remove uh, uh, location and add plant so instead of you know writing again i am doing copy paste from here to here so it means if it is not location definitely it is plant so in that case i want to remove the existing uh, location from okay location feed dot category access hmm. one minute something because of insert button it is not came properly and i want to remove location and add plant here a simple code not too complex here hmm. that's it so from uh, whenever i select plant i want to remove location from the category access and add plant to the category access now i am clicking on save button and i will execute to run uh, application so when i run this application by default this chart will show amount only on the chart sorry not amount uh, one second hmm. if we see here by default it is with location and drop down box is also with location whenever i select a plant from the drop down box you see now it was changed to plant so the dimension in my chart was uh, swapped with plant again if i select location it will be swapped with again location you see so this is how to write a scripting to swap between multiple dimensions in the chart okay it's not too complex so we are learning one by one okay so what exactly operations that we want to perform sequentially for the same thing we need to add code here okay if you first before start writing code you first you need to define what are the steps you want to perform so we need to understand what is in the drop down box and then check the drop down box value with uh, whether it is location or plant if it is location remove plant and keep location if it is plant remove plant you know remove location keep plant same thing we written the script okay i hope it is clear